What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about the Card Clash of Illusion, and for those of us who don't want to spend any money on this event, what can we get with maybe some of our saved up contract starry gems? As you know, 600 of those starry gems need to go towards the actual event buying cards. You're going to be spending quite a few doing the soul awakenings as well, but if you are already going all in on the soul awakenings, that means you're probably got about... 700 plus points towards the 1500 let's talk about what you guys need to do to get to certain tiers hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into it so i kind of asked myself a question this week i have starry gems i haven't really been finding a hero i want and i really just don't want to spend money on an event like this but what would an average player be able to get in this? Because remember, you can get, I, th I think the correct number is, I think you can get 130 total of these uh, treasury coins this week. So you can get three purchases up here. I'm not going to be talking about the last tier. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about maybe some of these lower tiers. Because again, uh, getting to 40 consumed, that's not too bad. That's actually what, two purchases here. Uh, you got two purchases here, which brings you up to 20, 30, 40. So yeah, technically what I'm going to talk about here today does get you unlocked to destiny transition materials. Although we'll have to see if that's really valid. So how are we getting cards and what is the key here? Well, first and foremost, the only way to do what we're talking about here today is if you're already going for the 600 points in the soul awakening, mainly to go for destiny transition materials. You're getting seven points, which is an upgrade from six last time and five the time before that, making this event much easier to accomplish, which is absolutely amazing. So for example, let's just say you hit it dead on 700 points. That means you need to come up with a grand total of 800 points with the cards. However, every card is worth three points. If you take 800, divide that by three, it's about 267, we'll just say. We'll just round up maybe say an even 270. So if we say an even 270, and then we subtract off a couple things real quick, number one being... Uh, the 60 you get because again remember you can get 60 from gems 60 here So minus 60 minus 60 brings us to 150 cards However, we're gonna get seven cards every single day just for logging in which is another 49 So we're roughly looking at another 100 cards now 100 cards isn't all that bad to acquire because that's It's, it's, it's still quite a few contract starry gems, but it's not as bad as I would have originally thought I kind of originally thought that these were higher values like it's still quite a bit. You need to spend about what? Uh, 6,250 6, around that to get enough cards to make this happen. And that's just saying if you're not spending a single dime, you're not spending money on value packs, and you're also not spending any money on the Moonlight Gift. Because again, the Moonlight Gift does give some. In reality, probably spending like 100 is your best bang for your buck because you're getting two times the uh rewards and two times the privilege in the starlight melody which does make it easier to get multiples of this but even just getting to a single chest is an additional 10 so essentially what happens is if you get that additional 100 that is roughly an additional four to five floors which means you get one two probably around 25 more from here and another 10 from getting that tier so that's really important because that means we'll have 35 uh, 45 I think maybe close to uh, actually you know what now that I think about it you need to spend 40 just to unlock it oh man this is actually not great how they break this down in reality you'd only have five left over and there's nothing in this chest this is a couple of things that I wish they would just change like I wish they would like go through these scenarios and be like, you know, let's make this the best possible outcome from them. I, I for some reason, I thought we were going to get five additional coins, which would have been good. <sighs> but it's really, really not. Man, that's a real bummer. I thought this was going to be good because it's weird how you get this additional five. And the only way to even this extra five piece out is get all the way up to stage 17. That's like another 100 cards, which is that point spending over 10. Actually, I don't even think you can get to that many cards completely free to play. Because if you take a look at the value packs, you can only purchase these two times. You can get 80 uh, up to 120. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I'm not going to try to do this math. 120 plus 12 plus 12 plus 4 plus 4. You can get to like 150 more. So, yeah, even free to play, you can't get to the part that really is important. And it's really... I, mm, mm, why can't they make this one a 10-pointer now? That is actually really, really big. And really annoying. I understand why they don't make this a 10-pointer because that would mean you could buy two of the chests in that tier 3. But the fact you got to go all the way up to tier 17 to even that five point out, man, that sucks. Because essentially, if you're going through and you're doing what I was talking about here, you're going to spend 40. You're going to be stuck with five left over, which means you're probably just buying another thing of this. Oh, man, I was thinking this was going to be so much better than it could be. And when I really math it out, it ends up being kind of crappy. As much as I want to make this work, have a way to get some decent rewards, this is probably the biggest waste of contract starry gems you could possibly do. Now, I guess if you're talking about destiny transition materials, yeah. <clears throat> I guess if you're really, really starving to get more of these resources, then this might not be a horrible strategy. Because like I said, it'll get you 35 additional coins, which essentially means you can get three more purchases from here which whether they are cores of origin sublimations and then get you some more stellar shards if you're in the early game and you're in an early game whale you're still needing to get all of these kind of built up i guess this could be a good strategy but to be honest if you're an early game whale anyway you're probably going more all in on this event than we're even talking about <sighs> man man oh man oh man this is a tough one i wish they would just tweak this a little bit and literally just one change here could take it from being unobtainable to really good and i wish they would just make stage 11 the one that gives you the 15 and keep this one as a five because again like i said upgrading this to a 10 and then just changing this to a 10 as well um feel a little awkward I know why they don't do it because they, they give because there are people that can get to like stage nine essentially free to play this extra five isn't a huge deal though and i guess if you're a free to play player going for this extra five might not be the worst thing in the world because again that extra five right there is a core of origin or sublimation and then in that case it might be worthwhile spending just a little bit of extra starry gems to get your way there because essentially each floor costs like in the mid to low 20s so one two three four five that's like your first 100 usually you can get through stage seven so yeah another 40 would be like 2500 contract starry gems that is not a tall order to fill really because even then you're still getting like cloud island materials which is pretty cool and that might be worthwhile, but going past stage nine definitely, definitely doesn't feel worth it. I mean, this B minus stone is cool and all, but it's a bound one and it's only a B minus, which again, still kind of sucks. And then beyond that, 10 coins is essentially going to net you just what? One more chest at the third tier, because again, remember your first two purchases right here are only five coins so you've already gone in for five on one you'll get another five and then another five to spend down here so it's, it's like okay but definitely not worth going all in on contract starry gems so hopefully that helps you guys out let me know what you guys think i was kind of disappointed that it didn't work out the way i was envisioning it <sighs> see you guys next time